Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to upload your app to the Apple App Store so that you can submit it for publishing and hopefully get it approved. First thing that we're going to do is open up Xcode, go to File, New, and we're going to create a new project. Now, this isn't going to be anything complicated, it's just going to be a simple app that we're going to create, and then we're going to upload it to our Apple developer account. So product name will just say App Store Example. We'll select Storyboard, UI Kit, and we're using Swift. And we're not going to be doing anything too complicated in this. We're just going to go in here and set the view background color to red. Now let's run that in the simulator. So after you create your project, you're going to want to upload it to the Apple App Store so other people can use it. Now to do that, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to minimize Xcode. Now you want to go to appstoreconnect.apple.com. Once you're at the App Store Connect, go to My Apps, then select the plus icon up here, and we're going to create a new app. Now before we fill this out, we're going to want to first register a new bundle ID inside of uh, this link. So we're going to open up that link. So inside of Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles, select this plus icon, App ID, Continue, App, and Description is going to be uh, Testing. Now Bundle ID, we're going to go back to Xcode and copy this Bundle ID and paste it in here. Now we can press Continue and register. Now that we registered our bundle ID, we can go over here and uh, we're going to need to repeat that process. So plus icon, new app, and our bundle ID should come up here. See we have testing and this is our app store example. So now we want to select our platforms, iOS, and this is going to be App Store example one, two, three. Here you can provide some kind of unique identifier. So usually I do like something like this. And language is going to be English. Now create. Once you create it, you're going to want to fill out uh, some information in this page. So you're going to want promotional text here, some kind of description that's going to be listed uh, in the app. Then you want your keywords, so we're going to be like App Store Example. This is an example, just any keywords thing. Now you're going to want to create a um, couple of URLs. On my website, you can go to privacy policies. Here, let's, uh, let's get one of my Bitcoin tracker apps. So this is what like my privacy policy looks like. It's just, uh, very generic. I got it online. So we can copy this link. And we can paste it here. This is going to be support. So you would do something like support. This one would be marketing. And another place you want to paste the URL is going to be in. Here, let's save that first. Information.
yeah, right here, privacy policy URL. So this would be the most important part, your privacy policy. Save. Now let's go back to app information. So here we can choose the category. We'll just say lifestyle and yeah, we'll just keep it like that. So select whichever one is uh, applicable to your situation. So this app is going to be free, available in all countries, save. Now copyright, we can do something like 2020 your name, age rating, none of this stuff. So this is information that you're going to want to provide for the app reviewer. Let's say you need the person to log into your app with a credentials. You could give them some kind of credentials they could log in with. So in our app, we're not sending in anything. Then this is going to be your contact information. So I put my name, phone number and email. And whatever notes you want to put in here, maybe like test out pages one through five or something, etc. And the notes you want the app reviewer to know, just put that here. And you can also submit some kind of media file. Let's say you have a screen recording. You can also put that there. And here you can decide when you want this to be released. So usually you want it to be released as soon as possible, unless if... Maybe you're working in a company. Okay, and now that this is complete, we can press save. So we're getting errors because I'm not putting in my personal information, but usually you would um, be successful at this point. Now we can go back to our app. So before we upload our iOS app, we need to provide some kind of app icon. So go to app icon inside of a assets right click show and finder and usually you would need to create some kind of app icon but for this example I'm just gonna copy something from one of my previous apps replace yeah, as you can see we have the Bitcoin app icon here now that we have the app icon we can click on simulator and under build, you want to select any iOS device. Now, once you do that, go to product and archive. After you successfully uploaded the app, you can go to App Store Connect and go to your app and you should be able to see your build processing here. Now that the build successfully processed, 
we can go to App Store. Now, the last thing that we want to do before we submit our build is first we need to select it. First we select it, then we need to add some kind of screenshots. So I'm going to walk you through the process of um, which simulators to use to achieve this the quickest way. So back to our Xcode project. The first screenshot that you want to do is iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I'll run it in this simulator. All you need to do to take a screenshot in the simulator is press Command S. And we can just save this to our desktop. So this is going to be for the 6.5 inch. Then we need to go to iPhone 8 Plus, run that in there. Command S. Then go to iPad Pro and run it there. And Command S. Now that we've gathered our screenshots, we can go back to App Store Connect. And we can take the first screenshot, drag it there. Second screenshot for the 5.5 inch. And then these will work for both of the iPads. That's going to do it for this tutorial. Uh, after you've gathered all the correct information for your app, you can press submit for review. Then wait a couple of days and you should hear back from the Apple developer team. Thank you for watching this tutorial and have a good day.